第十九條咧又係問滲透嘅，喺我哋嘅消化管道嘅邊一節呢？佢係吸收得最多嘅水嘅。其實呢條題目呢，同二零一五年嗰條又係有關於吸水嘅題目呢，係大同小異嘅。當年呢，佢就俾你揀嘅，就係、是、大腸、小腸，究竟呢邊個位置呢，係吸多啲水嘅？今次呢，就俾埋個食道同埋個胃裏嘅啫。咁所以答案呢，都唔使審啦，就係、是、呢小腸嘅，大約九成嘅水呢，都係由小腸嗰度吸收。主要原因呢。就係、是、因為小腸咧係會吸咗啲消化咗嘅嘢食，就令到喺血入面嘅 water potential 個水勢咧就會低過喺個小腸入面嘅液體嘅水勢，所以咧啲水咧就會滲透 keep 住入咗去啦。想問下書嘅話咧，就睇翻二零一五年嗰條 AMC 啦，睇翻右上角啦，我都 post 咗條 link 俾你哋噶啦。咁至於大腸啦，都都不厭其煩要講一次啦。大腸係咪唔吸水先？大腸都吸水嘅，不過佢吸嘅咧係一啲剩餘嘅水分。就唔係最多嘅水分，而 A、B 食道同埋胃咧，極其量都係吸少量嘅水嘅啫。Question nineteen is about the water absorption in the alimentary canal. So which segment of the alimentary canal can absorb the largest amount of water? This question is exactly the same in the two one five question, also about water absorption. So in this question, is checking the function of small intestine and the large intestine. And the answer is C, small intestine. Over ninety percent of water in the food is absorbed in the small intestine. The reason is that as the absorption of digested food into blood increases the water potential of the content in the small intestine, meanwhile it will lower the water potential of the blood. So that's why water is drawn into the blood by osmosis. And for option D, large intestine. It's because the large intestine is absorbing the remaining water in the feces, but not most of the water. Stomach, they are also wrong because they can only absorb a small amount of water.